conservative new media viewers, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal. I'm here to report for you something very interesting and uh, I would say exciting that NASA has just released information based upon the Kepler Space Telescope. This is a new program, we're going to talk about that in a second, that says that there are over 1,200 planetary candidates out there. This is about triple what we formerly thought that was going on out there and this also includes more than 50 which are the quote unquote Goldilocks range which means that they're the sort of proper distance or perfect distance from their sun or star if you will to support life. So they think that there are a number of planets out there that can support life and this just is a brand new mission. This Kepler Space Telescope is about in its second year here and since it's gone up there it's in space it helps it, it sort of follow, trails Earth on this orbit whatever so it's able to get the maximum um, uh, exposure out there to you know some of the faint light sources. Now a lot of these aren't you know next door or anything like that all right we're talking about stuff that's a lot of these are 500 to 3,000 light years away but it's extremely exciting, you know, scientific situation here because we're learning more and more at a very accelerated rate. And the question comes down to this: Do you, what kind of discoveries do we, do you think are going to come next? Do you think that this now strengthens the case for life on other planets, possibly intelligent extraterrestrial life? And what do you think is next? NASA is doing some very exciting things here. I like this science. I'm going to be monitoring this closely and bringing you all the information. And I want to hear your reaction. We're going to link to some stories down there in the description. This is breaking scientific news. And we're bringing it to you here at Conservative New Media. For Conservative New Media, I'm John D. Villarreal.